Some senators have asked President Mahmoud Buhari to sack the nation's seven chiefs. The lawmakers made the demands in their respective contributions to the discussions on the security situation in the country during plenary. They are Senate Minority Leader Senator Eyinaya Abaribe, as well as Senators Musa Sani, Betty Akwiafi, and Solomon Adeola. While Senator Sani called for the resignation of the police boss, Senators Akwiafi and Adeola asked the president to remove the service chiefs. According to the lawmakers, the service chiefs should be replaced since they do not have new ideas in fighting insecurity in the country. Now joining me live in the studio to discuss this further is security expert Dennis Amatri. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Good afternoon. Now I want to ask you what's your what's your reaction to the call of the resignation of service chiefs? Is that the solution to our myriad of insecurity challenges bedeviling the nation? I don't believe that um, uh, calling for the or sacking the service chiefs is going to solve the problem because we have a fundamental problem yeah. of um, equipment, you know, uh, new equipment that the, the, the military needs at this time. Uh, but if you, if you remove them and bring somebody else um, and then uh, for them to operate with the same kind of equipment, yeah. I think does not uh, give us new results. So have, have we completely lost the security situation in the country? There is no losing the security situation. Okay. Uh, the only thing is that the level of insecurity is very, very high. And I think uh, this is the time where the president himself and um, the service chiefs have to sit down and re-strategize. They've been there for long and that's why people are asking for their removal. You know, and uh, he, he has the prerogative to keep them or to, lo uh, to, to remove them. Okay. Uh, but I believe that uh, if they've been there for too long and there is a recurring uh, unproductivity, then, of course, he, uh, he should change them and have new ideas. Would you say the call for the service chief to be reshuffled or um, taken out completely? Do you think this call is over? There's nothing like reshuffling the service chiefs okay. because uh, they cannot serve under their under their juniors. So if they are going to leave, they will leave and then other younger ones have to come up. All right, I mean, I was just gonna ask you, do you think this call is overdue? Whether it's what? Well, if the call is overdue, the calling of the service chiefs to, for oh, them yeah, to be sacked, well, is it they overdue? they have a tenure and they've been here for quite a while uh, since uh, this uh, government came into power. And um, of course, at the end of that tenure, um, they should be relieved of that duty and let new ideas come in. All right, thank you very much for your contributions. You're still with us, so we still have more questions for you. Okay. Now, the South East Governors Forum, SCGF, has promised to provide the federal government details of its joint security program at the appropriate time. Governor Dave Omahi of Ebonyi, the chairman of the forum, disclosed this on, South on Sunday in Enugu while briefing newsmen after a meeting. Umai said that the forum had, on July 28, 2019, formed the South East Joint Security Forum and inaugurated a committee to work out the modalities on August 31, same year. It said the forum had been briefed by the committee and was satisfied with the progress so far made in that regard. And still with us in the studio is Dennis, a material security expert. What is your reaction to the South East coming together at this point in time for this purpose? Well, you know, we've been talking about insecurity in the country. Yes. And uh, the necessity uh, started with um, uh, the Southwest governors, where they came together and then, of course, um, uh, formed the Operation Amoteku. You know, and then, of course, uh, we've had the, uh, a Northern group, not the governors this yes, time. Yes, a Northern group, have yes. have come up with uh, Shege, Shege Kafasa. Kafasa. Yes. Okay, now, and um, yesterday, we've got um, uh, the Eastern governors coming together and then still discussing something about um, uh, security. Yes. So it is just very, very clear that the uh, the government, the federal government, uh, is losing the initiative. It's losing the initiative to be on top of the security problem. Because of the height of insecurity, uh, people are actually looking for self-help. Because that's what we are seeing right now. Everybody is trying to find out how they could help themselves. You know, so I, I think um, the, the federal government should look into it and uh, instead of uh, being antagonistic to it, should uh, more properly 
organize it and then give it parameters to operate, which will help the normal police. Right. Dennis, let me, let me ask you this. Does this new proposed initiative by the South East governors, does it give any room for any worries, any concerns whatsoever? Which other concern will you have? Is it because it's coming from the South East? Well, Balaibri Musa came out when Amot, Amotekun was formed and said the yes. federal government should not allow it to go through because he felt it was a grand plan eventually to bring about um, the Oduas, Oduas people's um, country. Uh, people, well, have, people have that kind of concern and worries. Uh, well, you know? um, yeah. Um, everybody have their own opinion. Yeah. You know, but like I told you, this necessitated, this is necessitated by the lack of uh, security mm -hmm. that people are feeling. The level of insecurity in the country. So if it is coming from the east uh, or the west, it is not a matter of people saying that, oh, we want to break away from uh, the country. It is actually a plan or an initiative to gather information which they will transmit to the, uh, the normal police yeah. that we have working hand in hand with the police, you know, to solve the security problem. Uh, there's, there's been a whole lot of regionality when it comes to the security outfits. We yeah. saw the first leader southwest, the north, the, the north, the north central, the north east, and now we have um, the, the southeast coming up with their own. Yeah. So much of regionality. Now, doesn't this, at the end of the day, um, cause for concern and fear about? Doesn't mean at the end of the day, our security forces have they failed us completely? It is, uh, it is uh, a cause for concern. Okay. Because uh, regionalism yes. is unknown to our constitution. You know, what we know is states. In fact, that was why Amotekun has the initial problem when they were launched. Because Amotekun came with the six uh, regional, uh, the states of the, of the southwest. Uh, of the southwest. Yes. And then, of course, uh, they were illegal in the sense that uh, they were not even registered or they were not formed by a bill from the state assemblies. You know, so right now, that's what they are doing. They've gone back, gone back to the drawing board. Each of the governors have sent a bill to their state assemblies to, you know, legalize it. Yeah, to be, uh -huh. to be an act of parliament. Exactly. Yeah. So right now, we will have, uh, maybe if they want to call it the same name, that's fine. Amotekun Lagos or Amotekun Ogun or Amotekun Oshu, whatever they want to. You know, but now they are coming back to the reality that the region itself that they were re re referring to was actually legal. So is, isn't this in, in itself some form of um, community policing that they've been clamoring for? It? That is okay. the whole idea. Yeah. That's the whole idea. Is the, is the community policing. That's why I was saying that the federal government should come up and uh, take charge because what they are doing right now is that they are allowing people to take the initiative of forming their own uh, state police and uh, if the government comes in and of course this bill is in the in the national assembly where you form uh, state police and then of course local government sheriffs and the whole idea is simple bring law enforcement to the grassroots yes. Now, the reports have it that the Southwest Attorney General ratified legal framework of Operation Amotekun. Why was this not done before the inauguration of the outfit? Because they were in a haste. They were in a haste. And of course, when it happened, the very first day, I was one of the people that came out to say that it's illegal. You know? And then, of course, some uh, uh, people behind it were saying, oh, that's not true. And then, of course, we have... Uh, uh, top lawyers also coming and saying it, but later when they sit back and thought about it, they knew that yes, the illegality is there, and they've gone back to make it legal now. All right. Some social and public commentators have expressed concerns about the regionalism, the emergence of the security outfits, and yeah. the region, regionalism of it, saying it's it's a proponent for anarchy, and that. It also depicts the fact that the government has lost control of the security of the nation. Do, yeah. do you want to subscribe to that thought? That's just what I told you, yes. that the government has lost the initiative. And now the states or the regions are coming up with their own initiative, sure. you know, to form. Because it's like what's happening in the country. If I don't have electricity, I run down to go and quickly get a generator to supply myself electricity. If I don't have a, uh, water, I go and sink my own borehole, you know, to yes. get water. So people have been waiting for the government, the federal government, to do this. People are dying every day. 
you know, and if the federal government cannot come up to either structurally deal with it by creating state police or local government sheriffs to go down and handle this thing, and you continue commanding it from Abuja, that structure does not solve the problem. Yeah, and that's say, why we're having this. Exactly. People say with this, with this kind of outfits coming up, with regionalism and the rest, that um, anarchy is imminent and that eventually there might be an eventual breakaway. Do I you, do don't you think, think so? of anarchy. Okay. I don't think of anarchy at all. I don't think any of these groups have actually decided that they want to break away. And that's not the reason for forming this. Yeah. You know, I'll tell you something though. Many people, even the federal government does not want to allow state police because they felt that the governors will misuse the police when they have a police of their own, yeah. you know. And that is what is very, very funny because this present government, before they came into government, was also agitating for state, state police. Yes. And now that they are in government, they don't want to allow it again, you know. And that is the point. Now, it is not a political thing. I don't see security as a political thing. Security is for the protection of lives and property. Yeah. And I think the high time they leave security alone, the politicians leaving security alone, the better for everybody. Dennis Amatri, thank you very much for your contributions on the news. Thank you very much.